Welcome back to a new episode of playing Call of Duty Mobile and talking about energy related topics. Today we will talk about mobility in general, so the difference between electromobility, combustion engines, perhaps hydrogen uh, as a fuel for cars. So we'll first of all go to the wind turbines, although we have already talked about the wind turbines. Um, let's just jump onto the rotor blades. Um, why is wind interesting? Yeah, wind might be a source for e-fuels. Oh, there's some guy jumping. We need to be cautious because we don't have any weapon. Uh, perhaps we can grab some weapon here in this small... How do you see these uh, solar panels on this truck? That's again perhaps one future if we talk about mobility that we have electric cars which can be recharged or charge their battery by using solar modules. Oh, there he's running. But we need a weapon. Perhaps you can find some weapon just a Bolt gun, mm -hmm. not perfect. We need to be cautious. Yeah, that that, that is a one idea uh, which has already be tested by uh, Porsche, one of the big German car manufacturer in Chile. They want to use wind turbines or wind park to. Oh damn! I need some. Assistance by the dogs. Oh, okay. Hooray. Um, so Porsche is trying to uh, use the wind, so a clean energy source, to first of all get uh, hydrogen and then generate e fuels. So conventional fuel, uh, gasoline or diesel, uh, but the usage of these fuels is uh, CO2 neutral because you use carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to generate these uh, e-fuels. Um, the idea of course is that Porsche or other big car manufacturer want keep on relying on combustion engines as they can make a lot of money uh, by these uh, with these combustion engines although the efficiency is not that high uh, if you compare combustion engines in a conventional car with um, the efficiency of uh, electric cars electric cars have a three times higher uh, or better efficiency uh, because uh, this combustion engines, they burn the fuel uh, and you have, you have a lot of heat losses um, in this process in your engine. Uh, there's someone looking around. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it, that, is, that is a disadvantage that you have a lot of heat which is uh, unused. Um, an electric car has less losses. Of course, the advantage of fossil fuel, and now we want to switch to this antelope. Um, again, it's a combustion engine. But uh, yeah, let's go around and have some fun with these cars and get, first of all, an upgrade for our dogs. Yeah, why do we rely on, on fossil fuels for cars or even for, for trucks, for ships, for planes? Uh, the energy density of uh, gasoline or of um, oh, damn. Uh, of gasoline or of, of diesel is very, very high. For example, uh, if you refill your, your car at a gas station, um, a power of 15 
megawatts is running through your hand into your car. So very high density um, of these fossil fuels. And that is the reason it's it's easy to, to get, easy to um, store, easy to, to tr transport. And um, that is the reason why oil is one of the biggest uh, energy sources we have on Earth. Uh, we've started with coal at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution and with, uh, let's say, beginning of the 20th century, with the First World War, uh, oil is, was getting more important than coal as the energy source. You can use it for heating, of course it's not that often used to generate electricity, but it's for uh, going by car, train, plane, whatever, uh, drive a machine. Um, that's very important. You see this fracking location we've talked about in the last episode, the one way of getting more fossil fuels, more gas and um, oil from deep layers underground. Um, so we can skip this topic in this episode, just going around and having a look if there's someone lurking around. See these big tanks uh, for storing the fractal. Oh, there's someone. I've seen the steps. Can I find you? Let's get back. Here you are. Combustion engine kills. Okay, let's grab all the content. That's yeah, that's the issue that um, yeah, oil is still very cheap as well as gas, but we don't use gas for going by car. Uh, we use the liquid fuels. Um, it's a very easy to use source. You can just have a generator, fill it with diesel, for example, burn the diesel and generate electricity if you are on a location without any grid connection, for example, in small villages in, in Africa or South America. You can use these devices, these generators. Let's get to this airdrop and upgrade our weapon. Um, and that is what we what we observe, of course. Uh, some lacking. Of course, one issue is if we burn fossil fuels, we generate uh, greenhouse gas emissions. I want a better uh, sniper or rifle. Uh, and overall, the. Uh, uh, the combustion engines. Oh, someone over there, wait a minute. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, the um, oil is one of the biggest uh, um, sources for CO2 emissions uh, globally. Um, uh, yeah, and that is of course an issue if you want to uh, save the climate, uh, if we want to g uh, stop climate change, we need to reduce the... Um, uh, oh, let's switch the car. Uh, we need to uh, reduce the greenhouse gas emissions because 8 billion tons annually are emitted by transportation. So cars, ships, planes, etc. Uh, and still rising, that is that is a problem. Electricity and heat are still on the highest level, but the second um, largest share is transportation. Um, and yeah, that that is an issue we are facing, and we need to get get rid of this to stop climate change. And the solution, uh, let's go swimming and grab some better armor. The solution, of course, are electric cars. As I said, they have a higher uh, efficiency, three times higher. So with the same amount of energy, you can go, um, 
or reach longer uh, go far compared to um, uh, to the combustion engine uh, of course the limitation is the battery up to now you can drive three four perhaps 500 kilometers with a fully charged battery in an electric car uh, with an uh, if, if your car is filled with uh, fossil fuel you can go up to 1000 kilometers uh, and that is a problem in the power in the, in the discussion that um, you think oh i need to go 1000 kilometers uh, by car every time and this is not necessary of course um, if you have a combustion engine it just takes two minutes to uh, recharge your combustion engine or your fossil car that you can uh, go further someone's near I can't see anyone uh, wait for the airdrop with uh, an electric car you just have the 300 or 400 kilometers of uh, yeah, you, you can go and uh, there's someone uh, cheated you with my hop off and recharging takes uh, some time so to get at least 80% of uh, your state of charge back that you can recharge your battery takes half an hour for example if you have these fast charging devices um see the the planes of course they also go by kerosene so again fossil fuel um, someone can i get you okay perfect no one's close okay yeah so charging the battery takes some time uh, so you need to um, yeah, rethink your your habits you have if you go by car although driving with an electric car is very nice it's different because you have uh, yeah it's a uh, nice driving uh, um, because your torque is, is better so acceleration is much better in an electric car than in a combustion engine just due to physics so if you haven't been in an electric car or go buy an electric car i recommend to do this to feel the difference in acceleration in driving and the comfort you have in, a, in an electric car of course as i said you need to change the habits um slightly but 95 percent of all rides are shorter than 50 kilometers per day so no problem if you have an electric car um there's somewhere on the road or there on the left hand side let's go around and see if i can find you Can't see you. Where are you? <laughs> oh, over there. Very well. Yeah, the last, uh, the last uh, energy source might be hydrogen we use uh, for example fuel cell that you use the hydrogen and uh, produce electricity so you have an, uh, an electric car but uh, this is uh, driven by hydrogen which should be generated um, in a green sustainable way and that if you use this hydrogen or burn the hydrogen this green hydrogen then you Oh, there's someone coming. Let's get the Arctic mythic weapon. And then let's get rid of this.
guy also driving around. Yeah, but hydrogen is, is rather expensive in, in, in production and still the, also the, the process of using hydrogen is not that efficient compared to a battery electric car. This might be interesting for, for trucks in the future um, as the battery has a large weight and uh, this means of course that you uh, well that you can't go uh, or, um, or use uh, batteries perps and trucks there are some ideas let's hunt here be careful a poltergeist is active okay. use the dogs again and hide oh here you are Got you. Chip terminal is almost ready. Okay. Has been delivered. I want to open the door. Okay, that's it. So that is that is the, the idea that uh, hydrogen might be a solution for trucks or um, cargo transportation and ships, um, also for for planes because you can't go by plane or fly with batteries as they are so heavy that won't work in the future. Anyone near? the dogs can find them no no one's near but there's just one guy left yeah so i don't think that the hydrogen will be interesting for the for cars in the future that will be for planes or ships perhaps for trucks no one knows um let's do the final ride with our car there he is see your steps on the map yeah so that's it regarding mobility thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye